Hey there, my name is Matthew Webb. Welcome to a new series where we will explore something pretty cool, VMware NSX and Azure VMware Solution. I'm part of the hyperscaler team at VMware, and today we're going to dive into this world in a way that's easy to grasp, especially for those of you who are new to NSX and Azure VMware Solution. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by NSX, don't worry, you're not alone. Today's video is all about introducing you to the concept, what's required, and some of the more powerful features of the networking platform in Azure VMware Solution. If you take anything away from this first video in the series, I want to make sure you understand that NSX will be as much or as little as you make it. Typically, when people hear NSX for the first time, there's a feeling of intimidation. But the reality is that NSX can be as simple as just being the portal you use to create segments that VMs can sit on, or it could be as powerful as a micro-segmented environment with intrusion detection and prevention. The reason why it's not as intimidating is because Azure VMware Solution is a managed service. So that means that NSX, along with all the other components, are deployed and ready for you to consume and configure. This means that you don't have to think about where my edge nodes set or how I configure my upstream underlay routers to peer with them. We are simply consuming NSX as a service and need to configure what our VMs need from a networking and security perspective. So let's start with the basics. At the very minimum, you will have to use NSX to create networks your VMs can use to communicate with the rest of your network. When you log into NSX for the first time, you can navigate to the networking section and then go to the network topology. This gives you a great logical understanding of what is deployed in your NSX environment. In a fresh environment, you will have a two-tiered gateway deployment, usually starting with a TNT nomenclature. So you'll see a TNT tier one and a TNT tier zero. The tier zero is a north and south boundary and is locked down by Microsoft to ensure connectivity. There's no way to create static routes or change the configuration. The tier one is your east-west router and is where you would hang your segments off of. In NSX, a segment is a layer two domain, really similar to a VLAN, a VNet, or a subnet. You can create multiple tier one gateways if you want to create some sort of logical separation or create security policies based on different zones. The tier one is much more flexible and allows the capability of advanced configuration. Azure VMware Solution and NSX leverage BGP for dynamic routing. What that means is that any segment that is connected to a tier one gateway, and that tier one gateway is connected to the tier zero, it is advertised across the AVS express route connection. If you allow routers on the other end of the express route circuit for AVS to automatically accept BGP advertisements, then those networks automatically come online. If you have a segment that's not connected to a tier one gateway or it is connected to a gateway that is filtering routes or disconnected from a tier zero, then that would be the equivalent of a private network and non-routable. It's worth mentioning that many people adopting AVS are looking at extended networks with HCX. What HCX does behind the scenes when it's extending layer two is use the NSX APIs to deploy a segment that has an HCX network extension appliance hanging a VNIC into that networking and routing it back to the on-prem network. So when you're creating a layer two extension, there's no prerequisite of creating a network in NSX in the destination environment being AVS. So to summarize our first section, you need to use NSX to create networks, no different than any other cloud, like using the Azure portal to create VNets or any other cloud provider to make some sort of network. Where the true power of NSX comes in is in its security capabilities. This is one major reason many customers adopt NSX in the first place. Since NSX is software defined and deeply integrated with VMware, we can use distributed firewall to help micro segment our environment. Traditionally, firewalls have always been at the perimeter, meaning that once an attacker can get in, they have a free reign throughout the environment. But with a micro segmented environment, you can create a layered approach where attacker meets stiffer resistance within the environment. This combined with dynamic groups can make sure that any new VMs added to your environment are automatically added to a group that has firewall rules already implemented. Automating security like this can lead to less user error and overall a better security posture for many enterprises. The deployed NSX environment does allow for distributed firewall rules at layer four. However, you can upgrade the environment for an additional cost to have layer seven inspection with intrusion detection and intrusion prevention, also known as IDS IPS. This is not intended to be a deep dive on how to implement these rules as that will come in another video in this series. While NSX has some very robust security capabilities, AVS remains an open ecosystem. 
meaning you can implement third-party firewall appliances. It is not uncommon for customers to want to use their tooling they are familiar with. There are some specific considerations that need to be taken into account when you're implementing a third-party solution into NSX, which we will cover in another video, but in the meantime, we will link some resources in the description below. That wraps up our kickoff of this series for VMware NSX and AVS. Remember, NSX can be as simple or as powerful as you need it to be. With Azure VMware Solutions Managed Service, deployment complexities are handled, leaving you to focus on configuring networking and security for your VMs. In upcoming videos, we'll cover NSX Basics, Advanced Configuration, and its role in enhancing security through micro-segmentation. From distributed firewalls to dynamic groups, NSX transforms your security posture. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, I'm Matthew Webb with the Hyperscaler team. We'll see you next time.